RBI notification is not out yet. Thousands of students are waiting for the notification so that they can start with their studies. But that is where the problem lies. If, if you wait for the notification uh, to enable yourself to start your studies, then you will anyways not be able to clear the examination. If you actually want to clear the examination, if you actually want to see your name in the final list, then you have to act like some toppers that have cleared the examination in the past. So in today's session, I'm going to talk about the habits of certain toppers who cleared the examination after a string of failures when they realized that waiting for the notification or waiting for something to happen to give them the motivation to start studying, to be more focused towards RB examination is not going to help. I will start with the first one, Barveen Kaur, who was a CGL topper before RBI. She had been working in Central Secretariat in Delhi successfully, doing very well in life. Even then, she saw three continuous failures in RBI examination. In her fourth attempt, she was able to clear the examination. So the question that arose in my mind was why after CGL success, she was not able to succeed in RBI. Was it her aptitude? Was it some uh, something to do with her capabilities? Was it about how much she studied? Or was it something else? Let's start one by one. In her first attempt, she prepared for RBI after the notification came out. And these are her own words. I am not making it up. She was also non-serious. She was waiting for something to happen so that she could just start preparing for the examination and give her examination. And that's the reason that she failed. In her second attempt, she was again non-serious and waited for the notification to start preparing. And again, the same result, she failed. In her third attempt, she did not take out time to be serious. She felt that with her successes of the past and with her work experience and everything that she's already achieved, she will be able to clear this examination again. So she was not able to find out time uh, after her job, after her personal whatever she was spending time on, she was not able to find out enough time to be serious. It does, not, it does not mean that she did not have time. She had enough time, but she was not able to find out time. And in her fourth attempt, she found the, first of all, she asked herself, why am I going after this examination? What is the purpose? What is the objective of me running after a job like RBI? Why do I want to do it? She actually asked herself this question. She got the answer after some days of introspection and after that she started from scratch. She attained consistency, that is something that she focused upon and she told me in her interview itself that she did not wait for the notification, instead she went after the examination from day one itself. Whatever delay we are seeing in the RBA notification, it's a blessing in disguise. Do not take it as uh, an attack on your job or uh, as a sign that the examination might not come out and that your preparation and your effort has gone in vain. But it's simply a blessing in disguise because it's giving, giving you that extra amount of time to refine yourself, to prepare better. And that is why the revision series has already started, wherein I'm making sure that students who are serious about this examination are finding this time to tone themselves up, to refine their skills, to make sure that their name is in the list. Let me talk about another student who cleared Nabad grade B first and then cleared RBI. His name is Ankur Bhati. His interview has recently been taken. It's available on the internet as well on YouTube. By the way, the links of both these interviews are available in the description. So if you want to watch their interviews, you can do so as well. But first of all, I would recommend that you go through this entire session, this entire video, and then you can use those videos to understand how did they prepare and how did they overcome their failures. Now, he says that I developed exam temperament in many months. He prepared while working. He has five years of experience in IT and he has seen eight failures in SSB, followed by success in NABAD and then success in RBI. He prepared for two years by sacrificing his salary hikes. This tells us very clearly that he was very consistent with his studies and he said that 
despite his uh, effort going in working as well despite his peers doing better than him because they were taking salary hikes shifting jobs he sacrificed all of that by making sure that he was focused on his goal jaise ghode ki aankh hoti hai ya arjun ka nishana hota hai similarly he found his focus in nabard and then rbi examination he says that he developed exam temperament in many months so even after covering the entire syllabus he figured out that exam temperament is something that needs time to be developed needs practice and he gave many months before the notification came out to develop his exam temperament so that he could improve his score because he realized that it's not only knowledge it's also about your personality your temperament how do how you deal with every question in the examination that matters his routine despite him being a working aspirant was 2 hours in the morning and 3 to 4 hours in the evening and he followed it consistently without any fail for one entire year let's talk about another topper who cleared the examination very recently in his first attempt itself the name is dhiresh bajpai his video is also available in the description i have put the link there so you can watch his video also later now his notif- his preparation strategy had been or timetable had been very unique because he was also a working aspirant he was working in bank of india he got selected in 2018 and he joined the bank in 2018 itself in november of 2018 he came to know about rbi and he spent no time and he started his preparation in 2018 december for the first 6 months from december 2018 to june 2019 he did self study because he wanted to understand ki padhna kya hai syllabus kya syllabus kya hai kis tarah se padhna hai what to study what not to study which are the good coaching institutes which are the good sources available online he did all that research and he prepared simultaneously along with it after that for 3 months he did dedicated studies by taking my course and uh, he was able to clear the examination in his first attempt itself so he also said when he came for the interview that you have to give respect to a subject that it deserves if one subject requires one month two months for some students probably four months because they are probably weak in that subject then you have to give it that amount of time you cannot just assume or think that in one month or 15 days you will be able to cover that subject just because xyz sub xyz student was able to do it and clear the exam in his approach shortcuts never work in life and that is what he used to clear the examination in first attempt itself because he was able to have the right attitude and the aptitude to give enough time to every subject he did not wait for the notification as soon as he came to know about rbi even after clearing bank of india ibps he got into that studies immediately created a strategy timetable for himself and stuck with that timetable for a very long time almost a year now before closing this session i also want to talk about the syllabus aap khud hi sochiye as a layman or as a smart person there are so many subjects in rbi examinations preparation there is quant there is reasoning english general awareness both for both phase 1 and phase 2 which is the most difficult part of the preparation you have finance you have management and you have economic and social issues a lot of students say uh we will skip social economic and social issues because quite questions don't come from the syllabus well there might be less questions from the syllabus but they are very easy questions and if you are going under prepared out of 100 marks if you are preparing only for 70 marks because you feel the 30 marks worth of questions will come from economic and social issues syllabus and it is so big and i don't have enough time then or you are already behind another student by 30 marks because he might be preparing for those 30 marks of economic and social issues along with preparing for current affairs you you cannot expect yourself to clear the examination if you're not even prepared according to the need of the examination okay so coming back to the syllabus there are a total of 7 to 8 subjects quant reasoning english finance management economic and social issues six subjects then there is writing that you have to do current affairs that you have to do english that you have to prepare for so these are all the activities that you are required to do 
how can you expect any smart person other than Elon Musk to be able to do it within two months? Probably he might also not be able to do it in two months. Therefore, to conclude, I would say, do not wait for the notification to come to start your preparation. Learn from these toppers. Their videos are already available in the description below. If you are able to learn from these toppers, only then you will have a chance at clearing the examination. Otherwise, you will just end up in the loop of the cycle of the examination where you clear phase one, then you don't clear phase two, you clear phase two, you're not able to clear the interview and you keep getting stuck and keep repeating the cycle again and again. If you have any questions, if you want to say something, if you want me to talk about certain topic uh, related to the examination, then please mention that in the comment section below so that I know what is the need of the students sitting out there and studying and I can fulfill that need by helping you prepare for the examination better. I'll see you very, very soon, guys. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Jai Hind.